Jeffrix here, and today we have the special Star Wars 20th Anniversary set list. There is a 75236 duel at Star Killer Base, 75238 Action Attack Battle of Endor, 75239 Action Battle Hoth Generator Attack, 75240 Major Von Rake's TIE Fighter, Action Battle Echo Base Defense, 75242 Black Ace, 75243 Slave 1 20th Anniversary Edition, 75258 Anakin's Pod Racer 20th Anniversary Edition, 75259 Snowspeeder 20th Anniversary Edition, 75260 Unknown, 75261 Clone Scout Walker which is the 20th Anniversary Edition, and 75262 Imperial Dropship also 20th Anniversary Edition. Now this is going to be a lot of sets and for the first time I might buy most of these because actually all the sets with the 20th anniversary labels on them are going to each include a minifigure with the classic yellow faces and prints. But on the back of the torso it says 20 years of Lego Star Wars 1999 to 2019 and also a minifigure base plate with the same thing printed on it. I would show you the leak but that's just a copyright strike waiting to happen so yeah. But anyways these figures will force me to get most if not all of the anniversary sets. But the Slave one, which is Boba Fett's, will include a Princess Leia from the one from the 2000 Millennium Falcon, but the set will include 1,007 pieces and five regular minifigures, which are Boba Fett, Han Solo, Han Solo Carbonite, Zuckus, and Forlom, and will be 119 euros. Next is the 20th Anniversary Anakin Spot Racer, which will include an Anakin minifigure with short legs and a Padme with mid legs? Yeah, I didn't think LEGO was ever going to use those again, but okay, I will take them. It will include 279 pieces and will be 29.99 euros. Also, the Anniversary minifigure will be a Luke Skywalker in the pilot outfit. The Snow Seeder set will, for some reason, be 39.99 euros. Yeah, I don't know why. They better include something good in here. Because that is 10 more euros than the Snow Speeders usually are. It will have 309 pieces and will include Luke Skywalker, Dak Ralter, and a Rebel Soldier. And the 20th anniversary figure will be Lando Calrissian from the 10123 Cloud City set. Shockingly. The Clone Scout Walker will be an anniversary set with 29.99 euros being the price and will include a Wookiee, a Clone Scout Trooper, and a Battle Droid and 250 pieces. And the anniversary figure will be a Darth Vader, which will be exciting. There will also be a 20th anniversary Imperial Dropship, which is rumored to be a re-release of the 2008 Battle Pack. 99.99 euros and the will be the price and we'll have a hundred and twenty five pieces and we will have three of the new 20 stormtrooper and a shadow trooper with the new helmet so that is just magnificent but the best part is the fact that will include Hansel as the 20th anniversary figure nos but of course there's a whole bunch of other sets that aren't 20th anniversary next is the dual star killer base which should be a small kill play set for 99.99 euros and include an exclusive kylo ren and a ray minifigure which all have 191 pieces and next is the action attack battle of endor which is apparently a new game set which the description says two bases and two shooters at minifigures sits in each base and you will have to shoot at targets on the enemy base so this sounds fun i will definitely pick it up as i own basically all of endor so that'll be great but the figures will be a wicket i know it's from the leak no new printing just the same one as the ewok village and a new scout trooper figure Next is the Action Battle Hoth Generator Attack, which is the same idea as the one from Endor. It will include two bases, and you have to attack each other's bases. The set will retail for 29.99 euros, and will have a 235 piece count, and will include a Rebel Soldier and a Snow Trooper. Next is Major Von Reg's TIE Fighter, which is based off Star Wars Resistance, and will include Major Eric Von Reg, Leia, and Bucket, or R1J5, and will be 69.99 euros, and will have a total of 496 pieces. There will also be an Action Battle Echo Base Defense, which will be 59.99 euros, 504 pieces, 3 Rebel Snow Troopers, 2 regular Snow Troopers, and a Droid. And the last set will be the Black Ace, also from Star Wars Resistance, which will include three minifigures, which are Poe Dameron, Riff Halloran, I guess, and BB-8, <laughs> which will include 396 pieces and 
will be 499 euros. But that's all the sets. I honestly am most excited for the 20th anniversary sets. There's also supposed to be a 20th anniversary TNT 4, but that's unconfirmed. And I'm also looking to get most of these sets. That's it. I am so excited for these sets, aren't you? But what sets will you guys pick up? Leave your thoughts in the comments below, and I will see you guys later. Peace out. Bye.